On this edition, I'm going to break down and predict the upcoming fight between Lyoto the Dragon Machida and Ryan Darth Bader. This will be taking place on the UFC on Fox 4 card. Now, this fight could be a hit or miss. It could either be a very boring fight, wrestling match, or we could see ourselves a stand-up battle. Now, Ryan Bader was obviously he's coming a long way. Uh, outstanding wrestler, developing stand-up, and then you have Leota Machida, the former light heavyweight champion, skilled karate, striker, black belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. So this has the mix to either be a snooze fest or an entertaining fight. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to break down both fires and do my predictions. So I'll start with Ryan Bader. Now Ryan Bader, uh, obviously he had a lot of hype surrounding him going into the John Jones fight. I mean, I'm not saying he doesn't have hype still. However, a lot of hype going into the John Jones fight. John Jones dismantled him in that fight, absolutely dominated the guy. Ryan Bader's come back. Now he has two wins, uh, defeating Brills and defeating Rampage Jackson. And Ryan Bader's stand-up gets a lot better every time. I don't want to say he has really um, good technique in his striking. I'd say he's still very raw, but what he does possess is outstanding power. Ryan Bader has a very deadly right hand. He, he does not put combinations together. He has a good one-two. He utilizes his jab. But really what he does is he commits forward bad intentions, pops forward in the pocket. He's an aggressive striker. Uh, he could either do the takedown or he could commit forward with the right. He's always swinging for the fences, though. So I don't want to say he's 100% accurate. He does miss quite a bit. But if he is to land, I mean, that right is a chin tester. No doubt about it. I and mean, we've seen him do it time and time again. He does knock out guys with that right. And obviously... Uh, in the clinch, I mean, given his wrestling background, he can control the clinch, he can strike out of the clinch, and then comes his wrestling. I mean, the guy's an Arizona State uh, you know, ASU wrestler, uh, wrestled with Velasquez, uh, C.B. Dalloway, outstanding wrestler, and he's explosive with his takedowns. He has a good power double, good single. He could slam guys. We've seen him do it, and we saw him out wrestle Rampage Jackson, and his ground control is some of the best. He can posture up, and that's this is where his stand-up, his power and his stand-up comes into play. He has good ground and pound as well. If he is to posture up, his ground and pound is deadly. He can either knock you out in the stand-up, or he can either knock you out via ground and pound. His submission game, it's developing. I don't see him submitting Leota Machina in this fight. I, I, there's no way. I don't see him submitting a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu on the ground. I do see him, however, uh, utilizing his ground and pound and his ground control. The question is, can a wrestler like Ryan Bader keep Leota Machida, a very squirmy and elusive fighter, on the ground and take him down? That's, that's the biggest question in this fight. So where I see Ryan Bader being successful in this fight, there's two ways. I mean, he could definitely... Uh, it, it'll be tough. I mean, Machida's very elusive on the stand-up. He has very good stand-up defense. He's, he has good head movement. He uses his footwork very well. He's not easy to hit. However, he can connect with that right, and Machida's been knocked out before by Shogun. Shogun has good power. Brian Bader has good power. However, Shogun's a much more skilled stand-up fighter with a million times better technique. But if he is to land that right, he can knock him out. But I think the safest bet, which I think he will do in this fight, is to get Leota Machida down to the ground. However, he cannot stay in the middle of the octagon. He has to corner Leota Machida near the cage in the octagon the gun, use his double, get him down to the ground, use his ground and pound, either try and TKO the guy on the ground, or, I mean, make the guy work. So, where I see Bader being successful, he could win this one by a knockout or TKO on the ground and pound. However, I see this one going to decision if Bader is to win um, and utilizing his wrestling and outpointing Leona Machida. Leona Machida. Now, Leona Machida is the former light heavyweight champion, uh, you know, and he got up there undefeated getting up there, defeating Rashad Evans in outstanding fashion. The guy absolutely dominated the light heavyweight champion in every every facet. So um, and his skill set, I mean, he's a black belt in karate. And it's just his karate, I mean, it's... M Machida is... People complain when Machida fights. He's very, very patient. But that's that's his style. Karate is... is more counter-striking, and Machida is one of the best counter-strikers. You're going to come out, he's going to let you make a mistake, you're going to miss a strike, and he's going to pop forward, and he's going to give you a boatload of strikes or a deadly leg kick. He's going to beat you up, and Machida possesses a lot of power in the stand-up. He has ex exceptional footwork, exceptional head movement. He is not easy to hit. It's just trying to hit Machida is, is very tough. I think that would be the biggest question. Can Ryan Bader hit Leona Machida in the stand-up? And Machida's going to make the guy work. N not to mention that, it's just he's so dynamic. I mean, he, he is explosive. If you commit forward, he's going to throw three strikes in your face and finish with a leg kick. And his leg, I mean, we've seen what he did to Randy Couture. People go said Randy Couture was on his way out the door, obviously given the guy's a legend uh, of the sport. But, I mean, you know, the crane kick, I just the weapons in his arsenal are unlimited. Leota Machida has so many weapons to his disposal. His knees and the clinch, his leg kicks in every variety uh, possible, and his striking as well. The guy has a lot of power in his hands, a lot of power in his knees, a lot of power in his legs. He can finish the fight in any facet in the stand-up department. Uh, in the clinch, too, like I said, he could throw a lot of knees, very explosive, a lot of knees in the clinch, separate with strikes we've seen time and time again. Um, 
I, w I don't see Leonardo Machia going for the takedown in this fight. He can take guys down, but um, he does he can utilize his ground and pound, but this isn't going to happen against Ryan Bader. The guy and Leon Machida is very squirmy. His takedown defense is, is outstanding. He is not an easy guy to get a hold of. He's very slippery. He's very squirmy and elusive in the stand-up department and in the takedown defense. Not an easy guy to get down to the ground. And when you get him down to the ground, a good guard, black belt Brazilian jiu-jitsu, he can submit guys off his back. I don't see him. He could submit Ryan Bader. I think it's a long shot. Ryan Bader does have good ground control and he's very aware. He is training in Brazilian jiu-jitsu, so that's a big question. But um. Uh, Machida is not easy to keep down on the ground. Can Bader keep Machida on the ground is the biggest question. Where I see Leona Machida being successful in this fight, keep the fight standing. I, I think he could pick apart Ryan Bader if this fight is to stay standing, but he has to be aware and be very aware of Ryan Bader's power. He has to pick his spots. And let's face it, Leona Machida is so smart in the stand-up department, he will pick his spots. The question is if he can get going. You cannot wait around against a guy like Ryan Bader. If it gets in the later rounds, Ryan Bader will outpoint you with his wrestling. So, I'd come out strong in the first round, I'd get my timing, I'd find my range, and then I would go right after Ryan Bader and try and test that chin. Ryan Bader's never been knocked out before. He's been wobbled by Tito Ortiz, but if anybody can be the first one to knock out Ryan Bader, is most definitely Leona Machida. He can definitely finish uh, Ryan Bader. So keep the fight standing. He could knock out Ryan Bader. If not, if this one goes to decision, Leona Machida is not going to win this fight. That's just the way I see it. You cannot outpoint a wrestler and take this one to decision. That's a very big long shot. He's got to finish this fight. If he's to do it, it's either by knockout or a long shot submission. So where my prediction lies in this fight, any day I take the wrestler. A wrestler's always a safe bet. They can control the fight, and they dictate the pace and where the fight takes place. However, against a guy with great takedown defense and elusiveness and speed and squirminess like Leona Machida and the outstanding striking and uh, counter-strike of Leona Machida. I see Leona Machida winning this fight. Uh, and quite frankly, I, he's a million times better striker than Ryan Bader. He's going to pick his spots. He's going to be very aware of the takedown. I see leg kicks being a big factor in this fight. He's going to beat up Ryan Bader. He's going to pick his spots. And I, quite frankly, I see him landing a big shot, wobbling Ryan Bader, and he's going to go in for the kill. It's either going to be him wobbling Ryan Bader and finishing via the knockout or TKO, or he's going to set him down to the deck. He's going to lock in a real naked choke or some form of submission. So I'm going to take Leona Machida defeating Ryan Bader uh, on the UFC on Fox 4 card via knockout TKO or submission. He's going to finish this fight, and Leona Machida will move forward and get another fight. So I'll take Leona Machida defeating Ryan Bader at UFC on Fox 4 card. And that's what I have for this edition. It's Kyle Delaney signing off. I'm out of here.